Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Divi events calendar to create an events archive page. So you can follow along here in the documentation on the how to create the events archive page document it has a written document and I'm going to be making a video of this. It's a pretty short process. So I'm going to show you this and show you a couple tips and tricks along the way. So first of all, we need to understand what the events archive page is. And this is really just the main page where it shows your events. This is a page that's automatically created when you install the events calendar. And the page where it's located at has the slug of events. And this is by default. Now we can change this, but first of all, I just want to show you how this would look by default when you install the plugin. So if I go over here to my demo and I'll just add event as the slug on the end there of the domain name. And this is how it will be by default. And again, this is the style that's outputted by the events calendar by default. Here you can change it to the month and the list view. Now you may notice that we do not have the bar up here to enable the visual builder. And that's because you're not able to do that. There's no way to use the Divi Builder on this page unless we go into the Theme Builder. So the Divi Theme Builder allows us to override this event page, okay? So one thing you may be tempted to do is just go and create another page where you would use our Divi modules like the Events Feed module or the Events Calendar module, and that may be tempting, um, but you have to remember that this page would still always be here. So I highly recommend that you just override this page with the process that I'm going to show you rather than trying to keep it separate and kind of trying to ignore it, which is not a good idea because people may end up finding this page and if it's not styled the way you want it, it's not going to look very nice. So let's go ahead and jump back into our website in the back end and go over here to events and then settings. And so under the settings on the general tab, I want to point something out. So again, we're in the events calendar settings down here. You'll see events URL slug and then single event URL slug. You'll notice by default, this is set to events and that's what I was just saying. So you could change this to something else. Maybe you want to say upcoming events. Maybe you want to just change it completely. I don't know something else. You can do that right here in the events calendar. And it really doesn't matter what you use. The key here is to use the theme builder to override that. So that's what this next step here is talking about in the documentation. So let's go ahead and go back to the back end of our website and go to Divi theme builder. All right. So go ahead and click on add new template. This pops up the Divi theme builder template assignment. So we can go down through here and look for events here. You can see all events and then here's event archive page. So go ahead and select that and then click on create template. So now we're ready to go up here and add the custom body for that template. This header and footer is already there. We're using the global. Of course, that's, you know, a different subject for a different time using the Divi theme builder. But for this, we need to build a custom body for our events page. Remember, we're overriding this page right here, not this header up here, but this content right here. All right. So this is what we'll be building now when we go in here to add custom body. Go ahead and click on build custom body. All right. And then go ahead and click on build from scratch. Here you can assign any type of row layout that you want. We'll just go ahead and add that. And here we can basically do anything we want as well. You can build this however you want using Divi. And that's the power of this theme builder, being able to override that template that we saw. So in this case, I would probably want to add like um, a page title. Like I could use a dynamic title or I might come in here and say um, something like upcoming events and then make that an H1. And then underneath that is where we can start you know, you can basically do whatever you want, but you could add like our events feed. So you could add this module and then go ahead and style that. And again, this is the page 
that's like the main page, the yourdomain.com slash events. So here you could just, you know, style this however you want. Maybe instead of this module, you would rather have our events calendar. And it really doesn't matter. This is totally up to you. And you can go and style them and you can check out our demos of those here. Um, we have all these demos for each one of these. And of course we have documentation back here, um, right over here on the settings and then how to use those modules as well. So basically you can do whatever you want here. Um, and you could use, you could use the events carousel. Um, I just, you know, that seems a little, little different to use the a carousel on this page but whichever thing you choose you basically just have to show events here um, and that's up to you and whatever we would choose here you could click on save and then when you exit up here make sure you click on save changes and then when we refresh this page here this should all be overridden by the theme builder template and there you can see here's that title that I added and here's this carousel Okay, so that's how simple it is. Now we've replaced that default calendar there and this allows you to customize this page however you want using Divi. I hope you found this helpful. Be sure to check out all of our other documentation and if you have any questions, just let us know.